All right, what's going on, everybody? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate, and not something you want to talk about, but injuries is something that's really hurting the Dolphins right now. So many guys, so many important players, and this was Mike McDaniel's response to being asked about the entire offensive line missing today's practice. What's the condition of your offensive line? You obviously have. <laughs> Bro, oh. So you, you look at the injury report. Teron Armstead, as he pretty much always is, finds himself there. He has an ankle injury, so he missed. He's missed a lot of days of practice so far this year. Uh, missed quite a few games. Austin Jackson hurt himself with an oblique injury in Sunday's game. Something that kind of went under the radar. Uh, but, you know, he's in question for the game. And then Robert Hunt, who still has not come back from his injury, uh, his hamstring injury, he's still missing time. And then Liam Eikenberg. Also on the injury report with the calf injury. That was something that he had going into last game. and was still able to play, but injuries all over the place. Tyree Kill still being affected by the ankle. You still have Javon Holland with his both of his knees uh, and a whole host of other guys. This team is so desperate for getting that number one seed, getting that bye week, getting rested up. And it's something that's going to be hurting them for the rest of the season and is going to be affecting them to be able to get that number one overall seed. I have a lot of concern going forward with the with the team, not just the offense, but the defense as beat up as it is. As Xavier Howard also missed the game. Uh, you can have you know all the talent in the world going into these games, but when you're missing some of your key guys, that clearly affects you. And it didn't have as much of an impact last week against the Jets, but it's it's something that's just been lingering around the team so much this season. And Mike McDaniel is clearly fed up by it with that reaction. You know, as you know, basically as a reaction as you would expect from him, uh, just continuing to have to deal with guys missing time, important players. Toronto Armstead, one of your captains, your best player on the offensive line. Every single week, you go into it not knowing whether he's going to be able to play. It was really good that we were able to get ahead to the point that we were able to take him out of the game. Tua, Jalen Waddle, Waddle got hurt again in the game. Obviously, it didn't end up affecting him. Uh, but this team cannot afford another serious long-term injury from a, a really big player on this team. We need about everybody fully healthy. Teron Armstead, Robert Hunt, you know, Austin Jackson, that offensive line, which is so pivotal in how this offense works. I need every single bit of them. Isaiah Wynn, we'll see if he comes back. The Dolphins have one more spot left uh, to bring back a player from the IR. Chris Brooks was just activated, so it looks like he'll be returning to play either this week or next week. But there's a few guys still on that list, like Eric Ozukama and Isaiah Wynn. Uh, only one of them can return. Uh, Savon Ahmed was placed on IR. He's not coming back. Uh, Jerome Baker, we'll see what's up with him. Just so many injuries to talk about. Uh, injury to our co-host Donovan. He had a issue that he had to take care of, and he is not going to be, you know, not going to be here today. He has not been here the last two days because of it, not been able to record. Uh, so another week where we're not going to be doing our live stream. I'm sorry, guys, that we've been kind of slacking on that. But we'll get back into things hopefully next week. Hopefully Donovan's feeling better. He was sick last week. Got another issue today. So we uh, won't be doing the live stream. But we'll be coming out with some do uh, Dolphins and, and Cowboys content uh, for the rest of this week leading up to the game on Sunday. I'm going to be there. I'm excited. This is another opportunity for the Dolphins to play against a really good team. Try to get that first win of the season against a team with a winning record, and then just go right back into it next week with the Ravens and the following week against the Buffalo Bills. It's going to be a stressful time. It's going to be an important time for the Dolphins uh, in a time that we need everybody as healthy as possible. Having those guys come back, having Armstead, Jackson, Hunt, Eichenberg on that offensive line, not relying on just randoms that we brought off of the street uh, on that offensive line is imperative to the Dolphins' success. Uh, so we'll see going on there. A uh, little side news before we go. Just got word of it that the Dolphins apparently hosted Nadamik and Sue, you know, a little former face, that a uh, real recognizable face in this Dolphins organization. Obviously, he spent quite a few years with us, uh, won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers, and just let go of JPP. We'll see what happens. I, I'm never opposed to seeing the Dolphins bring in some extra pieces, especially at the end of the season, getting some veteran experience, getting some really talented experience uh, if you bring in a Dolphin and Sue. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on the injuries and everything going on the Dolphins down below. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Appreciate you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Go Dolphins.